Good afternoon, church family. Today is Monday, the 31st of October, or as everyone else knows it as, Reformation Day. I'm so glad to be able to celebrate Reformation Day with you. Uh, it was a good day when uh, Martin Luther allowed the Word of God to be unleashed among those people there in, uh, in Wittenberg and just be able to uh, preach the Word and let it do its job. Uh, my hope as a pastor is, is being able to preach the Word and let it do its job. God changes lives through the proclamation of His Word. And so it's a joy to celebrate Reformation Day with you. I know what you were thinking. You were thinking Halloween. And in fact, it is Halloween. Yesterday, we had our fall festival. We had it on Sunday evening. We had it about two hours, 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. And we had 626 people come through. Best we could count. Uh, there are some people on staff who think there were a thousand. I don't think there were quite that many, but uh, however many we had, somewhere north of 626, somewhere south of a thousand, it was a great, great evening. I want to thank some folks uh, first. I want to thank all of our volunteers who really came together and made this thing possible. For all those who uh, donated trunks, those who donated candy, those who dressed up to pass out the candy, those who passed out the candy uh, incognito, uh, those who served snacks, uh, those who parked, made sure people were safe in the parking lots, uh, all the volunteers. It was just a super, super evening. We had a great, fun time together, uh, just, just lots of good memories coming from that. We really were able to represent our church well, and uh, by representing our church well, what we're actually doing is representing Jesus well. Uh, Jesus loves Concord, and because Jesus loves Concord, so should First Baptist Church. We should love Concord, too. And so last night was one of those opportunities to demonstrate that kind of love toward our city. Not just, not just last night, but we were able to uh, really celebrate Halloween again this morning with our kids in ABC Preschool. We have about 109 uh, children who come through our doors every day, uh, or at least three days a week, uh, here uh, weekly at ABC Preschool. ABC Preschool simply means all because of Christ. And so it's because of Christ that we host them. And this morning, the staff got dressed up again in our costumes and uh, passed out candy to those, those student children as they came through. And so it was just a great joy. I also want to give a shout out to all of the ABC Preschool faculty and staff. Uh, not only do they make every week a, a good one, a time of learning for these young students, uh, but they also come together and help us, the church staff, uh, pull off some of these big events. So they participated last night in our fall festival. They participate in Vacation Bible School with us. And I just want them to know many of them, most of them aren't members of our church, but yet they still come out and help us do those things. And so I'm just grateful for them. Uh, those ladies are super sweet. They know how to handle children and, uh, and they really represent our church and Jesus well. So thank you, ladies. Y'all are a great help and your help is not lost on us. So thank you so much. Uh, I just have a few things that I'd like to uh, draw your attention to in the upcoming days. Some things, some are business related, some are worship related, uh, but all of them are important in the life of our church. And so this Wednesday evening, November the 2nd at 6.30, we're going to have our question and answer budget presentation uh, for the upcoming 2023 church year budget. And so that's this Wednesday evening. Come out if you have questions. Even if you don't, come out and learn more about why the budget is what it is, uh, what we need to do in order to meet the needs uh, for next year's budget, what it'll all go for, those kinds of things. All your questions can be answered. Uh, if not, if they can't be answered immediately that evening, then we can get back to you and answer those questions. So that's this Wednesday evening. It's important because this coming Sunday, uh, November the 6th, is going to be the vote for our uh, budget for next year. But Sunday, November the 6th, is, uh, is going to be a vote only up or down. It's not going to be one of discussion. So if you want to discuss the budget, it's this Wednesday night, 
This is the important time to be together on this. And so, and then this Friday, we have an opportunity to minister once again to our community. It's our last pregame football meal for the season. Uh, J.M. Robinson is going to be coming out. We're hosting them. Uh, we need help. We need volunteers again to cook or clean or serve or just to greet folks as they come in. Whatever it is, please be ready to be out with us this Friday uh, as, we, as we serve J.M. Robinson football team. And then uh, next, next week, uh, next Wednesday evening, the 9th of, of November, we're having our third, I mean, our fourth quarter um, church conference. And so come out and be a part of that. You'll get the reports from staff. You'll get reports from all our ministry areas, reports from our, uh, our committees as they do their work. And so this is the time to hear and understand what's going on here at First Baptist Church Concord. So I'm excited. Big month ahead of us, uh, which really culminates on the 24th of November. On November 24th, it's Thanksgiving Day, it's Thursday, and uh, we are serving our Thanksgiving meal. Uh, most, if not all, of our meals this year are going to be takeout. Uh, people coming by to pick up meals or us sending them out uh, to some facilities, uh, housing areas, those kinds of things which need uh, a, a Thanksgiving meal that day. So there are all kinds of things that you can sign up to help us on on that day. You can help uh, by making desserts uh, because we cut those and, and plate those the day before and send them out. And so we ask that you, um, that you prepare and donate those kinds of desserts that week. Uh, so you can sign up for that. You can sign up for any stage of ministry during that day, whether it's plating desserts or whether it's serving the food or whether it's cooking the food or cleaning up afterwards or um, being one of the people who uh, deliver the food. Any of those things you can do uh, if you'll just sign up and be a part. So all of that is on Thursday, the 24th of November. And so that's this month in a nutshell. It really is the entrance into our, our Christmas season. And so I can't wait. Advent starts the, the Sunday, the 27th of November. We're having, by the way, on November 20th, we're having a, uh, a baptismal service. And so if you need to be baptized, please call me. Uh, now, it, just because you sign up doesn't mean uh, you're automatically going to be baptized. I will talk to you. Make sure that you've confessed Christ as Lord uh, and make sure that you're doing it for the right reasons. But other than that, uh, we, want to, uh, we want to baptize disciples. Jesus told us to do this. Go and, and uh, make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe... Uh, all things whatsoever he's commanded us. And so that's really the Great Commission. That's what we do, and we're going to be a part. And that leads me to one last, uh, one last thing, and this is really a prayer request. Uh, I am going to Guatemala uh, mid-month, and I'm going to be preaching at the Word of Life uh, teen camp uh, that's going to take place in a few weeks. And I just ask you to pray for me as I put those sermons together that the Lord would lead me. I'd know what to do, what to preach. And then preaching through a, uh, an interpreter is a difficult task. It takes practice. I, I have been practiced. I haven't been practiced in the last few years. And so pray for me as I go. Uh, Michael Houston, one of our deacons, a physician, surgeon, uh, is going to be heading out with me and uh, we're going to go do ministry there. And so just pray for us as we go. Pray for safety to and from. Pray, though, that we would really be ministers of Christ while we're there and that the Lord will allow us to see some of the fruits of our, of our labors. That would be wonderful. Church family, I love you. So glad to be with you today. Uh, thank you for uh, your love for us. Thank you for all the things that you did for the staff this last month, uh, for Staff Appreciation Month. Um, and so I hope you have a great week. I can't wait to see you soon. Wednesday night, Friday, Sunday. Those are the next big, big days of this week. God bless you. I'll see you soon.